The Portuguese armed forces are exploring plans to modernize their fleet of Pander 2 8x8 armored vehicles to enhance their effectiveness as infantry fighting vehicles, IFVs. This modernization initiative was highlighted during the Future Armored Vehicle Survivability, FAVS Forum in London, organized by SMG Conferences, which specializes in defense and aerospace events. The Pander 2 8x8 is a versatile armored vehicle designed to meet modern operational demands. Originally developed by Stair Daimler Puck and later evolved by General Dynamics European Land Systems, DELS, the vehicle is crucial for the Portuguese Army's mechanized brigade. It serves multiple roles including as an armored personnel carrier, APC, and in some variants, as an infantry fighting vehicle, IFV. The modernizations being considered aim to bolster these roles further, particularly the vehicle's capabilities as a frontline IFV in contemporary combat scenarios. At the FAVS Forum, Lieutenant Colonel Marco Cordero, commander of the reconnaissance squadron of the 6th Cavalry Regiment of the Portuguese Army, outlined several potential strategies for upgrading the fleet. Two primary options were discussed, a comprehensive upgrade of the existing Pander II fleet or its full replacement with next-generation vehicles optimized for infantry combat. One proposed modernization strategy involves upgrading the existing infantry combat vehicles, ICVs, into fully capable IFVs. This would involve equipping them with advanced weaponry and systems designed to meet the challenges of modern battlefields. Dells has suggested a mid-life upgrade program, which would involve replacing the existing 12.7mm machine gun with a medium-caliber weapon system, MCWS, such as the 30mm MK44 automatic cannon. This upgrade would enhance the vehicle's firepower, particularly against unmanned aerial systems and concealed infantry, through the use of programmable airburst munitions. In addition to enhanced firepower, the upgraded Pander II vehicles could be equipped with anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs, such as the Javelin, Spike, or MMP Acheron, which would significantly increase their versatility and lethality in combat. The Pander II 8x8, weighing 14.5 tons and offering an 8.5-ton payload capacity, is designed for mobility, protection, and firepower. The vehicle's eight-wheel drive configuration gives it excellent mobility across a range of terrains, which is essential for both military operations and peacekeeping missions. The vehicle can carry up to 12 passengers and a crew of two, making it adaptable for troop transport, reconnaissance, or combat support missions. The Pander II is equipped with a modular range of armaments that can be tailored to mission-specific needs. These include a 30mm Bushmaster II cannon, a 105mm high-pressure Cockerill cannon, and a variety of secondary weapons such as 7.62mm FNMAG machine guns a 12.7mm M2 Browning heavy machine gun, or anti-tank missiles like the Spike LR or TOW. This modularity enables the Pander II to be configured for a range of roles, from infantry support to direct combat engagements. Additionally, the vehicle features a six-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine capable of delivering 449 horsepower, enabling it to reach speeds of up to 105 km per hour on roads. The vehicle also boasts an operational range of approximately 700 kilometers and is amphibious, capable of traveling at 11 kilometers per hour in water, adding to its versatility in varied operational environments. Portugal's decision to modernize its Pander II fleet is part of a broader trend among NATO allies to adapt their military assets to meet the increasingly complex challenges of modern warfare, including hybrid warfare scenarios. With this modernization, the Portuguese army seeks to maintain technological parity with its allies and ensure that its mechanized brigade remains an effective and adaptable force within the European defense landscape. If implemented, the upgrades would enhance the Portuguese army's operational capabilities, ensuring that the Pander II fleet remains a cornerstone of its mechanized forces. Whether through the complete modernization of existing vehicles or the acquisition of new, specialized IFVs, the initiative highlights Portugal's commitment to maintaining a modern, versatile military force capable of addressing both conventional and emerging threats in a rapidly evolving global security environment. This modernization is set to reinforce Portugal's strategic position within NATO, ensuring that it can effectively contribute to both national defense and international peacekeeping efforts.